That's the truck, babe. It's a big red truck. Okay. Hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all, hey y'all. I'm feeling good. My cheeks are puffed up. They shiny. Man, let me, I gotta share this experience. I gotta share this experience before, I don't want my excitement to fizzle, okay? So, this is the hair salon hairstylist update, okay? So, I've had my lemonade braids in for about a, a bit over maybe 10 days, okay? So, you know, if you know braids and if you know hair, that when you get your hair braided, your hair really grows. Like, it's, it's kind of starting to grow. You know, I had, and, and because I have the lemonade braids and how the braids was positioned on my neck, some of my braids towards the back were kind of getting loose. So, um, and I think like maybe one braid up here was kind of getting loose. The rest of the hair looks great. The braids still look neat. You know, things, is, my hair is growing. Like I've been keeping up with my with with the with my maintenance. You know, it's not all on the hairstylist. Sometimes you gotta keep up your own maintenance of your hair. So I've been keeping my braids juiced up, keeping my scalp juiced up, and um, you know, sleeping with a silk scarf. So anyway, so they was kind of getting loose. So I contacted Kiana, and the uh, next day she got back to me, and she was like, "Yeah, you can come into the shop. I'll tighten you up real quick." I'm like, "Okay, cool." So I get there. And two of my braids in the back had kind of like pulled off a little bit. And let me tell you why. I'm just giving you an honest review of what is going on. So they were, it, what it was is they were like, because they were bottom braids down here towards the, towards my shoulder and towards the nap of the neck, they were pulling anytime like I was driving and I needed to like look at this lane back here or if like any motion that would turn right there, it would kind of start pulling on there, on, on, on these two bottom um, braids. So, which, okay, and, and it didn't hurt. And it really didn't even like itch, really. And it, it just kind of start feeling like tension a little bit. So I go into the shop. She um, assesses the two braids that was bothering me in the back. And she took them out, and then she and I I lost a little bit of hair. I did lose a little bit of hair um, due to it pulling. So um, so we decided to take those two braids out, and we kind of like you know made one braid with it, and it still looks very neat. Like y'all know I ain't gonna walk out the salon with it looking tacky. So it looks very neat still. Um, so she took the time to do that. And then she uh, tightened this one up here because, you know, it, it's it's one of the busier braids. Is what I, the position that it's in. So if I'm talking and I'm moving, or you know, I have I have two little girls, so you know they might pull on it. You know, Zoe's gonna scout me one day, but I'm. It's one of the busier braids. So, um, so she tightened that for me. And and so then the, so so thank you for doing that. Like she, she, that's what I'm saying. Like I went to her to get this service done, and then she's still going to provide maintenance. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not gonna take the braids. You're not gonna be done with the braids after 10, 20 days. No, you know that's not bang for your buck, and that's not the type of service that Kiana's trying to provide that you know your braids get old after after 20 days you know that's not how that's how not that's how braid shirt service should not work that shouldn't be happening ladies or gentlemen if it's happening to the point that you're spending good money on 20 day hairstyles you book you 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 get the, you booked the wrong one you booked the wrong one is what I'm going to say so I'm still in my same braids. I'm gonna keep. I guarantee you, I'm gonna keep these past uh, April. I know that. I have my next. I have my next hairstyle picked out already. But I guarantee you, first week of May is probably what I might because the braids are good. The hair is good, and I'm keeping up my part of the, of the deal. So, anywho, so moving on to the update of the stylist Kiana. Man, when I tell y'all, Kiana is so cool and down to earth funny and honest and authentic like like i told her like if we met in high school we would have been cutting up like cutting up she's really funny and, and she's honest so i can't oh 
be, even when I went in for my maintenance, I still got a protein treatment. She laid down these edges to bed to sleep to rest funeral for him. You know what I'm saying? So like she got me right. She got my two braids in the back. She she tightened up my my braid in the front, and she laid down my daggone baby hairs. So we so and she did a protein treatment. It was like damn, they're getting everything redone except the middle. You know. So anywho, so um, when she does her protein treatment, she puts down these um like these hair papers. I can't remember like the old school ones that would lay them down. So she puts those on them, and, and a couple of them got on my eyebrow, right? So then I was like, oh, you know, I'm going to have to do my eyebrows over again. Because anybody that really knows me knows I have really thin eyebrows. So sometimes I got to adjust them to get them to appear, okay? So so we, um, so she was like, oh, don't worry about it. I'll fix it for you. I was like, she was like, you use black or brown. I was like, black, you know sometimes like a really dark brown that fades into black she's like i got you she's like i got some brown i got some hooked up for you i'm like okay cool so we were sitting there talking good conversation good vibes she's expiring y'all like she has so many pots lined up that she's planning to put her hand in and i appreciate that I, especially in iowa she's a young black girl i dig it i fucks with it like if you have a black business let me go ahead and put this side note in right now if you have a uh, if you're a black owned local business i'm coming to check you out if i haven't already you know what i'm saying it's my goal i am pushing on purpose to support black businesses especially in iowa local black businesses it don't make no sense there's way too many um talent out here and potential out here and quite frankly yes businesses out here they don't get enough recognition they don't get enough shout out they don't get enough promo maybe one or two of them but still and yet everything can be pushed harder so yes i'm going to a black salon Right now, I'm trying out uh, Transitions Salon with Ty and Kiana. I've been to um, Diva Salon with Brittany uh, Cameron. Um, April Lattimore has done my hair. Yes, Tina Turner has done my hair. You support these black businesses out here, these local black businesses. My nails have been done by Natoya Winters. Um, and she's in uh, Brittany C Cameron's salon uh diva salon like and i'm gonna continue to go to toya and no pun to the to the past people i've been to but it's time it's been time and especially if it's after now if i didn't have something to choose from at the time being then ain't and then they, oh, i gotta do what i gotta do but when it's out there and and they're professional and they're providing the for real deal service bang for your buck I can keep coming back. I can refer other people to you and you treat them the same way that you treated me type service. Then yes, that's where my money's gonna go. We need a black grocery store. What's up? You know what I'm saying? Like support your support your people. Back to my Kiana story. So so it's time to kind of reapply my eyebrows. I don't know if y'all can see me real good. I'm at a stop sign. But baby, but baby. Especially if you one of them females that like to um talk with your eyebrows and your face, like bitch, like who for you who? Hey. You know, stuff like that. So she first of all oh shit. So first of all, she was honest. She was like, you shouldn't do black. She's like, it's too dramatic. She's like, you don't need dramatic. She's like, you should do a softer one, like a brown. I'm like, girl, I don't know. I'm already brown, you know. I need something to, you know, make sure you can see that I have eyebrows because I have a complex that because I have thin eyebrows. Okay. So, so she, hey, she went up in there. She got a little razor. She hit the, hey, she hit him. She hit him with a brown pencil. She got up in there and did her thing. And I am very satisfied with what she did for my eyebrows. She's like, I just want to test it. I just want to see how it looked. This was on the love. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, okay, let's see what you're talking about. And ironically, because I thought I was really extra doing something earlier at work before coming to the salon to get tightened up, um, I had took some pictures uh, so of how my eyebrows was looking when I went into the shop. And not to say they look bad, you know what I'm saying? But they wasn't this. So it ain't nothing wrong with that. I, I, 
sister should be able to, what's it what's it say you should be able to adjust your sister's crown without telling the world or something like that so I feel like she she was honest she showed she, she showed love not only did she have a suggestion but I mean not only did you know she had an opinion about my eyebrows but if you're gonna have an opinion about something then make it better and I'm happy with what she made so I wanted and, and, and it's just off the love you know what I'm saying like goodbyes if nothing else like we laugh we talk she's and I, I dig it and she's professional you know I don't feel you know how some um I feel like some hairstylists kind of bully with their prices and shit like no I so I just wanted to make this video to do an update on my hair and how happy I am with the service, with the with the stylist, and and with my hair still in the product, and um, also with the um, with the eyebrow hookup because that that kind of just made that just put the bow on another dope experience. So I just kind of want to put it out there, and I'm gonna start making more videos when I go see Natoya again about my nails, which I have been getting compliments on. Okay. Like, I've gotten, anytime I got my nails done by Natoya Winters, it's hot, um, I've gotten com compliments. These are her nails. And I, yes, I do need a fill. The fill is coming up, but they still look dope when I move my hands really fast. And the thing about this uh, nail polish that I have right now is um, they're mood changing. So when I get cold or when I wash my hands in cold water or it's cold outside or whatever, they turn lavender. And then when I'm in a warmer setting, they're this mint green. It was my idea to have a um, checkered pattern, which she drew black by hand. So I appreciate that. I mean, the talent's out here. I know we're in Iowa, but we can still boom, we can still rock, and we can all still eat, and we can all still show some love. So, happy hump day, you guys. Uh, God bless, be safe, and I will hit y'all with another update. Same baby.